Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now Ethereum is playing out a rejection from this exact line of resistance that we have been talking about on the channel, which is potentially putting Ethereum at risk right here and also right here. So make sure you're watching this video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before I jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. It's right here we're on the Ethereum to your chart on the six hour time frame and obviously we have three important things to pay attention to of course that bullish falling wedge pattern and these two major points of resistance that i have been talking about for quite a while now on the channel and so obviously this is nothing new for the subscribers out there because we were expecting strong resistance coming in at around 4120 to 4130 which is exactly where ethereum got rejected at almost the exact dollar and on top of that another warning signal was obviously the low volume that we were talking about saying that the lower the volume is the higher the risk is of a throwback to the downside. And once again, that's exactly what has played out right now. So does this recent dip in the price of Ethereum invalidate this falling wedge pattern? Well, not necessarily. Technically speaking, in the shorter term, if we're still remaining above this line, which is currently coming in at around 3.7K, then it is still possible that this falling wedge pattern could still play out. But remember, we still have these important points of resistance between now and the technical price target for this pattern. Just zooming in a little bit and bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from this low at around 3.670 up to the recent and tied towards 4140 approximately. And so this gives us some possible points of support that we should be paying attention to here in the shorter term for Ethereum. First of all, we have the golden pocket for Ethereum coming in between 3830 and 3850. So obviously it would be great to see the price of Ethereum hold above the golden pocket. But if we start breaking below around 3830, the next important level of support is the 78.6% Fibonacci level coming in at approximately 3760. And anything lower than that, I'll be looking towards this low as the next major support level coming in at approximately 3650. Now zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum and what we could see here is the 20 week simple moving average coming in at approximately 3830 and this horizontal line of support coming in at around 3650. These are two levels of support that I have been mentioning on the channel for well over a week now which is very interesting because now these exact levels of support come into play with these Fibonacci levels. So it is extra important for Ethereum to remain above those sort of levels because obviously if if Ethereum sees a strong break below 3650, then at that stage, we could see a continuation of this correction with perhaps one more leg to the downside. But once again, that only comes into play if we confirm a break below these support levels. For the time being, those are the levels to watch. Now, I thought it's important to mention what happened during the middle of this year, which was obviously a major crash during May, right into the 20 week simple moving average. And then we found a lot of support along that moving average. And as I just mentioned, as a possible scenario for Ethereum, if we break below the 20 week moving average back then, we did play out one more leg to the downside before then we began to bottom out. But really all that did was just provide you a better buying opportunity than we otherwise saw. And whether you bought Ethereum above the 20 week simple moving average during June or below the 20 week SMA during July, either way, you would have made a lot of profits in the coming months. So with that being said, my personal Ethereum strategy is to simply dollar cost average into Ethereum at the current prices and hold for the slightly longer term as in for at least the next few months. Now it's important to mention that that is not financial advice that's just telling you my personal ethereum strategy and what i am seeing on the charts but if you go back and look at my older videos on this channel you can see that i was saying the exact same thing right here and also the exact same thing right here in that entire price range now taking a really quick look at this four hour chart for ethereum of course we had that previous symmetrical triangle pattern and this previous rising wedge pattern and i did mention two days ago on the channel that these two patterns basically contradict each other because the symmetrical triangle pattern was giving us a bullish price target considering we already broke out to the upside but this rising wedge pattern was giving us a bearish price target because it is a bearish pattern and obviously we did break to the downside and so i was saying that if you look at these patterns together on the chart they pretty much cancel each other out because they are a direct contradiction but obviously if you wanted to look at the pattern separately this symmetrical triangle pattern is now well and truly invalidated and this rising wedge pattern has pretty much already almost played out because the technical price target for this rising wedge pattern is coming in at approximately 3.8k which at the time of filming this video ethereum is almost just about there now taking a quick look at the ethereum versus Bitcoin chart here on the six hour time frame. Of course, we've still got this head and shoulders pattern as I have been mentioning over the past few days on the channel. But even right now, at least at the time of filming this video, we still haven't seen a confirmed break below the neckline. This neckline is currently coming in at around 0.0794 Bitcoin per Ethereum. So obviously we should only be expecting more of a pullback on this chart if we see a confirmed break below that exact line right there. And for any of the beginners out there, a pullback on this chart for Ethereum against Bitcoin, that just means Ethereum would be underperforming 
against Bitcoin. And that is why this chart also plays an important role in the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts. By the way, this chart is the Bitcoin dominance on the daily time frame. And right now, once again, we're still running into that same support level coming in just underneath 40% dominance. This has been the case over the past few days. And over the past few days, I have been letting you know that this entire retest is basically a deciding moment because obviously if we see a bounty in the Bitcoin dominance, that would technically be bearish for the altcoins, meaning that the altcoins on average would be underperforming against Bitcoin if we see a bounce from this exact level. But if the Bitcoin dominance breaks this exact level and forms a brand new lower low, then that will be bullish for the altcoins, meaning that the altcoins on average would be outperforming Bitcoin in that scenario. So this is why I am paying strong attention to this chart right now. And if you want to get extra crypto updates throughout the day, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter. And the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you do not miss out on any of these future updates. And before you click off, you might as well check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. But that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.